Anyway, uh, thanks for uh, watching this video. In this video, I will unbox this um, router. It's TP-Link uh, wireless router. Okay, so for this, we will try to explore uh, and check what uh, what's good. You know, what are the good things about uh, this W. Uh, wireless TP-Link router that I just bought. So if you notice it supports up to 300 Mbps wireless router But that's the speed of all. So look at the box. There are descriptions. What are the ports available behind it? So if you are connected to a DSL, so you could use the blue port and Other four orange ports. Those are for LANs or other devices such as computers or laptops or even other routers that you want to use as a Wi-Fi extender yes that's possible this uh, wireless router actually supports wireless uh, direct or WDS uh, connections which means it also it can also be used as a Wi-Fi wi extender so what's good about it you don't need to you use any LAN cable to make it an, an extender but it'll give you option uh, to connect this router from your main Wi-Fi at uh, downstairs or we, we, wherever the main Wi-Fi connect connection is or which which floor it is. Let's try to unbox it and explore what's inside the package. So yeah, there you go. You notice the the router itself, right? So fresh from the box. So. And we'll check later on what other things inside it. Here we go. Let me just uh, focus the camera to the router, and uh, we'll see. Go. Yep, and if you notice, uh, yep, it has two antennas, so the antenna supports dual bandwidth, it supports 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, so it, uh, it works two way, can be uh, uh, as an access point as well. Later on, I'll show you. This is the manual inside the package, but we'll just leave it inside the box, okay? And this is the main component of the router so the power cable without it the power i mean the router won't turn on at all okay turn on the router in a bit you go i'm gonna plug this first to the plug or outlet So we'll try to turn on the router first. If you notice, uh, the power port is the black port. That is where we need to plug that in. Okay. There you go. We'll just wait for the router to turn on. Now it's turned on. If you see the green light, it's it's it means it's on. But the orange light means it's the connection. It's not yet connected to any network or any connection such as DSL or fiber. But later on, uh, we'll try to uh, test other settings, you know, features uh, inside the router. Okay. Yep. Look at the orange. So it means no connection. Okay. For a new a uh, non-technical person, you could always play with the router settings. If you made a mistake, just reset it. So, yep.
right now uh, we'll go to the uh, user, user interface of the router so I'm gonna use my mobile phone to connect to it since the router is on so first I'm gonna try to connect to the router let's see okay Right, so I'm connecting so as you can see first on top that's my main router uh, now I'm trying to use this TP link as a Wi-Fi extender we'll, we'll check and see if you know what will be able to or we will be successfully con uh, connect this and use this as an interface now I ha I am connected to the router now I will try to access the user interface of the router from my phone. I need to log in as the admin user. So if you notice the status or the other settings of the phone, I mean of the router on, on the left side. Okay. So there's a, there are different usage indicated on this. You notice you could use it as the usual router mode. In, uh, but the selection or the best settings that we will do is the, the fourth one but we will try to uh, check each of the settings uh, we could possibly do on this router okay so yeah virus router um, WISP uh, each option or usage available uh, there are um, definition or you know it, it the description at the bottom of it so yeah and then we just hit next So this uh, selection is we will use the the router. Okay, hang on. This is just a test uh, password that we will use later on. Okay. So it, it, it uh, on the operation mode, it'll guide you of basic settings or step by step set guide, uh, what to do next, what to change next. So it's not gonna be difficult for those non techy or non technical person to you know set up all of this. So make sure that you will specify the settings or the features that you want to buy whenever you want to buy something such as router so for there are different types of router that uses 5 gigahertz and 2.4 which is the 2.4 gigahertz is the traditional but somehow effective and rely more reliable for most of the user because it you know it uh, give us a strong and long range of connectivity though the only weakness of the you know of each wireless connection if you're in a you know walls uh, or a close unit that's somehow lessen i mean the farthest you go the lesser the connectivity is so yeah, the only, that's the only tr problem now we're trying to rebooting the the router well, not technically rebooting it but since we have saved or changed something it will try to reset and save the changes that we just did so here we go so now it will prompt us to con reconnect to the router We'll just wait for it. There you go. It says connected. We'll go back to the user interface. Okay.
So this time we will try to select another operation mode for the router. Okay. We'll just run um, one thing that you've noticed when we change the operational mode it lessen the settings available on the left side of it okay well, later on i'll show you how we could you know we'll, we'll try to explore more what's this router uh what the router does okay so why am i confident enough to make changes it's because any changes that you may have done, you can always reset the router, okay? Right, that's just uh, one tip f for, you know, non-technical person. Don't be afraid. Now we'll try to use the, we'll try to use the router mode or the default uh, mode, operation mode for the router. So it'll try to reset or, yeah, reset the and save the changes. Let's just wait for it. Now notice the settings on the left is somehow less or if, and we'll see if we change the operation mode and if it will restore the other missing settings on the left side of it. Here we go. Let's just wait for it guys so yeah this is somehow uh will add more you know more idea on how you can uh maximize your existing connection if you're on the third floor fourth floor or somehow longer than that make sure that you choose the best router that supports the the range you know so as I said, uh, range matters, the distance, the more distance of the router is from the main route, main connection, it somehow lessen or makes the connection weaker. Okay. So, yeah, we'll try to reconnect to the router since it's, it just rebooted itself. Okay, now we'll try to reconnect. It's trying to reconnect by itself, okay. Oops, the, the reason for this since we've just restored the router mode or the default router mode settings we will use the default SSID security which is written at the back or at the bottom sticker of your router so nothing to lose don't be afraid to make any mistakes okay yep yeah, uh, just so it says connected then we'll go back to the user interface there you go so now we're back to the user interface. Notice the uh, settings on the left side. So we'll, we'll try to play and see what are the what are these you know menus available on the left. So it supports bandwidth control. So later on we'll check that one too. Okay. Yeah, that's one good thing about this. So if let's say you have multiple the user or devices connected to the router, you can limit the speed of each device generally. Okay, so it goes for all devices. That means if you have a speed of internet speed of one hundred um, Mbps, that that's one way and easy uh, piece of settings that will help you. To avoid logs and connection issue or you know delay with your connection so there you go I'll show you later on and see how we could limit it but for the meantime we'll try to 
restore the settings or check other settings there you go that's the part where it says 2 mbps so i just set it to 2 mbps for upload and download okay there you go that's one good thing about this router hopefully yeah uh you learned something out of it and thanks for watching the video have a good one